Hi, this is Alvin Steve again, and we're going to talk about something that uh, we're going to talk about God. And what we're going to talk about is uh, is your relationship with Him. And this some of the stuff that I'm going to talk about with you is based on some people's and the experiences about Him. But the aspect we're going to talk about Him not only is He, you know, to be awed and inspired by God, but He's also your best friend. And believe it or not, He has a sense of humor. He likes to laugh. And I don't have any examples, but my understanding is he likes to tell jokes. And he likes to play with you. He likes to be playful with you. And I, I'm going to take it in human terms. When you have a relationship with your father, when you're, you know, when you're a child and you start growing, when you become older and older, you have more of an adult relationship with your parent. And sometimes your parent can be either your father, your mother, or both can be your best buddies, your best friends, because now you're on a kind of an even keel with him. It's the same thing with God. And as you grow and more mature, as time goes on, you have a relationship with God that's very, very special. The one thing I'm going to tell you, though, based on, and, and even some of my experience, he's your confidant like no other. He is your best friend like no other. He knows everything about you. He knows every thought that you've gone through. He's everything. But at the same time, you know, he, he, he appreciates you in a very special way. And how he appreciates you, he likes to have fun with you. I mean, that's the thing you have to really kind of understand that, that it's not only just also serious about God, but he's also, he's real playful. Now, I don't have any samples of jokes that he likes to tell, but I understand he likes to tell jokes. He likes to tell jokes. He likes to have fun. And, and it's important for him to have fun with you. And it's important for you to have fun with him. Uh, you know, laughter, all the emotions that we feel, courtesy of God. Every sense of logic, every thought that we have, everything that... The argument to how we think, it's all courtesy of God. It's all there. And and, and from my understanding, too, and I have experienced this kind of myself, is that when you stand in front of God, and I talked about this one in the other videos, you're embedded. Every cell in your body is embedded in God. He is embedded in you. And one description from N one ND experience that they discussed is that your DNA, and, and, and you're standing in front of God, your whole body knows it's Him. Every cell in your body knows it's him. And your DNA is reacting to it. And then the way that she was describing it, it's kind of go up and down your body. I mean, it's, I don't know how to, the way she was describing it, but it, 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 every cell in your body knows. And you get a clear understanding when I talked about he's embedded in every part of your body and every cell. You really know that. The other thing that's really intriguing, too, is that you get to know how you created, how you came in the light, and what the thought process that he came to, you know, to, to create you. And the one thing I will tell you, uh, you're, you're one of the kind. There is nobody, anybody like you whatsoever. And God knows that. So when you have that relationship with God, it, it's really, he wants to enjoy you. You know, and he's kind of proud that he created you. He wants to, he wants to, they have fun with you. He wants to, you guys can have a special kind of relationship. And as I said before, he's your confidant. He's your best buddy. And, and, you know, sometimes in real life, you know, we, we pray to God and we talk about ourselves. And other, but just imagine in the next life, you're going you're, you're gonna, to you're gonna talk to each other in real, in real terms. You're going to talk to each other. And, and the other thing I talked about, and I keep going back to it, he's, uh, he wants to have fun with you. Uh, you know, things are, things are real serious and stuff, but part of it being in heaven, too, is having a sense of humor and, and, and laughing. That's a big part of it over there. I mean, up there, it's it's really having fun and joy. I mean, the word joy, and that's what it really is about, is, is part of joy. It, it is part of just, uh, just laughter. Just having fun and just being at peace and, and feeling a sense of love. And that's what you're going to have in heaven, especially with him. And so I wanted to talk about this because, I, you know, I think it's important not only to think of God as, you know, being this serious this kind of thing, but it's also to think of God as that he's your best buddy and he wants to have fun with you. He wants to be your best buddy. He wants to uh, get close to you in a very special way. And he takes pride in you. He takes great pride that, you, that he created you. And as I said before, you know, you, great, you, you get to see how you were created in the light. And what made you, what, what the thoughts that he went through in order to create you. 
But anyway, I, I just wanted to kind of do this side of, of uh, I just want to talk about, and I'm going to do another video, uh, hopefully with some examples, and I'm working on that right now, the jokes he likes to tell. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something that tell you some jokes he likes to tell? But my understanding is he loves telling jokes. He likes having, he likes having fun. He likes to be playful with you, and vice versa. And, uh, you know, you exchange a lot of different kind of, you know, even when you get angry at God and you can't, you know, that's all part of it. It's all that part of the relationship you have with God. And, uh, but it's a very, it, you know, I don't know what else to tell you, but you know, he just really cares about you. He really loves you. He really, he takes great pride in you individually. And so I just want, I'm going to leave it at that. And as I said, I'm going to get back on another another video with some more examples uh, and I'm working on that getting some kind of jokes that God really tells I, I this I have to find out more but based on some of the ending experiences he likes to have fun with you anyway I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end it here and as always I hope your day is going well and uh, look forward to the next one but yeah I will have some more information as far as your in, more of the, the relationship you have with God and his sense of humor thanks again for watching and uh, Appreciate your time. Thanks again.